This has basically solidified and strengthened my conviction for this mission. We're just on standby. It is, realistically, it's a setback, but it's a hurdle, uh, an obstacle that can, can be overcome easily. We're ready to set sail again and we will break the siege. Yeah, all eyes on deck. Of course, I've left behind um, loved ones, my comrades, both in Wales and in Malaysia. The resistance movements on the streets and uh, with the actions and all that, having a bit of FOMO. <laughs> but in all honesty, I feel that I'm not leaving it uh, much behind because I believe that I'm carrying them with me in, in their prayers, in their love, their hope, their solidarity, their courage, their rage, everything. So yeah, they're with me all the way the impact that I'm truly gutted and affected by personally is that we're not able to deliver the aid on schedule that could cause a significant impact on the people who are waiting for the aid for the people of Gaza but it has a significant positive impact globally whereby people are rising up there's a wildfire of a tsunami of resistance movements to stand on the right side of history and pressuring the world leaders to not be cowards against this Israeli apartheid regime and dismantle uh, the system from within.